Good morning everyone. So today we're going to be doing something that you guys seem to really enjoy. I'm going to start the video off by tying up a fly and then I'm going to take it out and try to get some pike on it. Um, now this fly will be a little different than some of the other ones I've tied up in the past for pike. Mostly just because it has one single hook instead of two. Uh, one in the front and none in the back. And the reason for that is because over this past summer I've had two experiences where I've seen big pike just totally inhale the fly and they get that back hook right by their gills which is a terrible spot for it. I mean oftentimes it makes them bleed, uh, hard to release and sometimes even kills them. And I love catching these big river pike but I love letting them go just as much and so I do not want to see them die especially on my hands. So either way I might you know miss a few smaller fish but those big pike pretty much always inhale the fly so I'm not too worried about missing a big pike. Um, but either way guys let's tie up that fly and try to get some fish on it. Okay, well, here's the weapon of choice today. It's looking pretty good. Now, the next step is find some pike.
There we go. Oh, it's a smallmouth. Nice. That's a good smallmouth. Wow. That's sweet. I love catching smallmouth. I don't catch very many in these rivers, um, but when you do get one, it's a nice surprise. And he smoked it too. I was thinking I might miss some smallmouth on this because it has no back hook. Normally when I do get them, they're in the back hook. But this guy had no hesitation. That is pretty cool. First fish of the day is the wrong species, but it's welcome in my books. Come here. Awesome. Check it out, not a real big fish, maybe like 14 inches, but he sure wanted that streamer. That is pretty cool. There we go. <clears throat> Finally, the target species. And it looks like it's a decent sized pike too. Awesome. It's been super slow just so far. Yeah, that's not a bad little pike. Man, he choked that streamer, but I'm pretty confident with that single hook, it shouldn't be too bad to unhook him. So I'm liking that so far quite a bit. All right. Nice little upper 20s, maybe like 29 inches. Hey, 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 stop it, please. <laughs> there, that, okay. Well, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but that's exactly why I wanted to have a single hooked fly right there. Uh, he choked that fly, it's way back in there, and that back hook, or where the back hook would be, is right by his gills. So I'm really glad I have a single hook on there. It should be easy on hooking, and uh, get him right back in the water where he belongs. Let's see, right here. Pop that out right out. Perfect. Piece of cake. And here's a quick look at the fish. Not a real big fish, but a good solid fish, maybe 28, 29 inches. Uh, super nice, little skinny, but super happy to get them. So let's get them right back in the water and uh, try to get another one. See you later. There we go. Oh man, oh what, no, dang it. I think that was a smallmouth, another nice size one. I'm seeing quite a few smallmouth. I haven't fished this section in like probably two years, um, but maybe it's more of a smallmouth spot now. I have no idea. I used to do decent for pike around here, but I've seen more smallmouth today than I have pike. Oh, no, no, no. That was a nice one. I pricked him, dang it. Oh, please come back for it. That sucks. Dude. It was, yeah, low 30s. That sucks. Oh, oh, got him, got him, got him, got him. Man, he came up and smoked that, that was sweet. Oh my gosh, that's a big fish, that's a big fish. Sweet, it's been super slow, guys. I saw that fish come up and missed it. I barely pricked him, he came back out of nowhere and just smoked it, that was so cool. We've been getting fish, but not a whole bunch. They've been really spread out, and I've only gotten like two tiny ones so far. This guy's not fighting very hard, he's not really fighting at all. Just big head shakes. You don't want to fight these fish to like when you're just totally wearing them out to exhaustion. Uh, Cause in this warmer water in the summer, these big fish can get tired out to the point where you basically kill them. Um, some people won't even fish for like musky when the water's over like 75 degrees. And the same kind of goes for pike sometimes. You just want to be careful with these, these fish. Keep, keep them in the water, you know, and don't try not, to, if you can, try not to fight them too long. Uh, just cause these fish, you don't want to kill them. These are awesome fish. That's a good fish. That might be pushing 34 inches. Nice. Thick. Yeah, super thick. Look at that. Okay guys, here is the pike. It was just about 35 inches. I measured it on my rod. And I have some measurements on my rod. So about 35 inches, great looking pike. I love catching these big fish in these small rivers. You wanna take really good care of them. Like I said, keep them in the water. Just, I can't stress that enough guys. Take good care of these fish and you can catch them again, I promise you. She's pretty charged up. I think she should be ready to go. Oh my 
gosh. Ooh. That might have been a big fish, dude. That might have been bumpy. Dang it, that sucks. Ooh. Please come back. I pricked him. I. That was like a... Nope. Okay, that makes me feel way better. Man, <laughs> that fish swirled on it and like it just... It didn't come out of the water very much, but it made a huge wake when it missed the fly. It made me think there was a big fish there. But, you know, rest assured, it was uh, maybe all of 15 inches. Not quite the big one I thought it was, but you know, hey, it's another fish. Oh, oh my gosh. That was, oh, there we go, got him. That was sick. Another pike, guys. Nothing real big. Uh, I have caught a real big pike twice around this section, so we're kind of hoping we catch it again. It's been a year now, maybe it's another inch or two bigger, but right now we're catching some babies. Still looking for big mama, though, although we've already caught two nice fish today, so I am very happy. Well, that's gonna be a wrap. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, it was actually filmed over two different days, so in both days I was actually fishing kind of unfamiliar areas that I had not been to in quite some time. So given that, I think I did pretty decent. I mean, I caught we caught some nice fish, just not a whole bunch of numbers. Um, so either way, if you guys like this style of video, definitely let me know. I think I'm gonna try to do something like this with carp on the fly in the near future, uh, just because I get a lot of questions about kind of like what kind of carp flies I use. Um, so either way, just an idea, but if you guys have any suggestions or feedback, I always love hearing it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the constant support some of you guys give me. And of course, I will catch you next time.